What's up, y'all? It's Timo Got Knowledge. Uh, I just been laying low for a while, but um, I think it's time for me to come out the woodworks now, man, and just get these projects together. So don't click off this video quite yet. I want to just show y'all something real quick, man. And this is kind of, I don't want to say, well, I guess you can call this like a prophecy or whatever. You can call me a false prophet, whatever you feel like it. But this is what I think this basically about to happen. And what encouraged me to make this video was Remedy H. He came out with his video with the, uh, the 222 and then the 12, 222, 222. So basically what I think from my own perspective is this, man. Obviously, 666 is, you know, six protons, six electrons and six neutrons. And what that make up is carbon and carbon is just simply melanin. Right. So I just want to show you guys something with the calendar real quickly. So, yeah, this is our calendar. Um, We're still real talk. We're still in the year 2021. But since they gave us a Gregorian calendar and I say they as the people who call themselves the elites when they're really not just elites, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can get down into that later. But, you know, just quick little brief little history is basically um, stuff just been passed down to people, you know what I'm saying, since they constructed a system locking certain people out of the system and keeping certain bloodlines above the system to where they don't, you know what I'm saying? They got the keys to the matrix. So they call themselves, you know, uh, they, they, have, they say they claim they have a secret bloodline or, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're the elites or whatever, when they force themselves to do that, uh, spiritually speaking, even when we just look at nature, like they're not no type of elites, you know what I'm saying? They just, within this money system, that they have placed within the Gregorian calendar. That is how they get their name, AKA the elite. So let's just get into the calendar real quick. So first thing we're going to notice is this, obviously you got, you got months, you got days, and then you have the year that's three. Now that don't really mean nothing, but my whole point is this, man, what is, I don't want to say I don't mean nothing, but my main point is this, like, what is the main number that we're talking about in each of the three categories? So you got month, day, and year. The main number is two. If you got two, two, one, two, even just zero, two, or just simply just two, the, the main number is two. Now, when you have three sections and you add those twos up, you get two plus two plus two, which equals six. So, yeah, tomorrow is the 22nd of February. Tomorrow literally is. Not only that, you know, that's 22. We're in the second month. I already told you two plus two plus two equals six. Right now, peep game. Within this Gregorian calendar, we have 12 months. But so far, there's 365 days in the whole entire year of the Gregorian calendar. Correct. So with that being said, January 1st and through the 31st, that's 31 days in January. Where are we currently at now? Tomorrow we will be on the 22nd. Now I'm going to take you to my calendar. I mean, my calculator. So yeah, like I said, there was 22 days. And then the first month of January is the 31st. So there's 31 days. So let's see, we got 31 plus 22. And what does that equal? 53, right? So all we're going to do is subtract this from the total days in the year. So 53 minus 365 days in the Gregorian calendar equals what? 312 days, right? Watch this. So you got 312 days. So that's three plus one plus two equals what? Six. Six, six, six. Now, I already showed y'all that I started my intro with a the melanin, the carbon, you know, is six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. Now, the reason why I'm stating this is because not only this has something to do with our DNA awakening, it's already awakening. It's been awakening and um, a lot more people are more advanced. But I'm just trying to show you guys something even um, much more clear. What's going to ha happen with this um, this system is a lot of things about to take place. Like you have the China, you have uh, Russia and you have Ukraine, you have the U.S., and you have NATO, you know what I'm saying? We already know what's taking place and I'm not trying to lower nobody's frequency, but watch this. I've been keeping my eyes on this, man. Basically China, cause you would know that the Olympics was in Beijing, right? That's in China. So China told Russia not to attack until after the Olympics. So the Olympics is actually over on the 20th. 
But this is just an article showing you China's president would not like Russian. See, I'm just trying to show you a uh, counterpart Vladimir Putin to further invade Ukraine while the Olympic is underway in Beijing. I'm just trying to tell you guys that. So like that's just one part, right? So then, yeah, I told you guys that the Olympics isn't over to the 20th. Of course, I'm going to look this up. But like you got to understand if it's over that same day, some people will fly out that country and back to where they belong that same day. The next day, the 21st, people are already leaving the country. You know what I'm saying? By the 22nd, people should be where they're at or they probably still leaving. So I'm not going to say it's exactly going to start on the 22, but it's just the portal that is opening up. There's many portals, one that they created and one that's already been here dealing with nature, the cosmos, just every single thing. You know what I'm saying? So my whole point is this. We're about to see the system where we know it's going to crash. I mean, the Bible talk about it. People could just uh, just feel it like people had dreams like it's, it's, it's just bound to happen, man. So it's not even really my prophecy. It's just like me just thinking for myself. And I'm not trying to like and again, I'm not trying to make nobody scared or put into fear or anything like that because we're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar, we're going to be all right. But anyways, um. Yeah, so the Olympic is over uh, February 20, 2022. So I told y'all that China ordered Russia not to attack. So what does that mean? China and Russia is definitely in this thing together. You know what I'm saying? And then again, I'm not trying to lower your frequency, but just stay with me for a second. You see me? I pay attention to angel numbers and this is all that I'm really seeing. These are like codes to me within the matrix, you know, like the movie, the matrix, and they got the letters, they got numbers running down the screen. Why well, I pay attention to these numbers because as you're, you know, maneuvering through the matrix, you're, they, these are actually like signs that your ancestors can talk to you, uh, higher spirits, you know what I'm saying? Warning signs, you know what I'm saying? So I already know six, 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 what that represents, but there has to be something deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, 666 carbon and melanin. We already know about the sunspots. I watched these. I watched these updates from um, uh, the U.S. news report. He's the most accurate. I watch Brother Kali because I got I still support my brother, my people. You know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of people talk about the sun. You know, I even watch it myself. I, I go out there and sun gaze myself like the sun just does something to the to our skin, man. Like. I'm not going to lie. I was breaking out on my cheek. Right. And um, I exfoliate my face a lot and it just reopened up uh, one of the scabs on my face. I went and sat outside and I was sunbathing the whole entire day. The next day, my skin looked, felt completely different. It, it it just feels different, man. Like, I don't know what it is. It just heals like that fast. Like, I, I can't even make this up, man. But my whole point is this, man. Other than the sun, what is going to be taking place? Like I told you guys, we are aware through these Bibles and every other prophecies, the Mayans, the Hopis, like they talk about the system crashing. They even talk about the mark, the chip and everything. Right. So peep game right here, man. Um, Since this is the angel number, what does six mean spiritually? You know what I'm saying? And let's talk about the angel number six symbolizes finances, material possessions and the and anxieties that we face in our daily lives. Humility and unconditional love are also re related to the energies and vibrations of number six. My bad. I wanted to make sure I read that right. So my whole point is this. I mean, we don't really need their money. We don't need even we don't even need their system. We have nature. You know what I'm saying? Like what if you really think about this, man, like what does money do for you? It allows you to buy stuff with that they created. Well they didn't even really create it. They just duplicated uh things that they seen from the pyramids and you know different types of stuff. Like if they have carvings and stuff on tablets. Like we had airplanes, we had, um, there was cars and a whole bunch of other stuff. And they duplicated that. Now they dumbed you down to think that back in those days, they were dumb. They had to have aliens to come down and help, but that that's not true. You know what I'm saying? What they did was they, they dumbed you down to make you to believe that. Right. And then they go create that stuff. And they trying to say that we're now today we're smarter than the Egyptians, but look at how we're using like fuel for energy and not the sun. You see what I'm saying? It's not anything smart. They can't even reconstruct a pyramid. So my whole point is this. When I read this, man, I understand that the when they talk about symbolizes and finances, bro. Like, yeah, you could have a little quick little boost in your income. But at the end of the day, the system's crashing. That's where I'm getting to material possessions. 
cars, all this stuff. Because guess what? Your cars run on gas. And if Biden put sanctions on, you know what I'm saying, um, on Russia, then obviously fuel is going to go up a lot more. And you might want to buy a bicycle. I'm just saying, like, things is about to get ready and change with this system. That's all I'm saying. It's the system, man. So another thing it says, um, yeah, well, the anxieties that we face in our daily lives. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. The system is a part of everybody's daily lives, not mine, but, you know, everybody else. They got to go to work. They got to do so many things and they all involve the system. They got to go to school. You got to do everything. You got to go run to the store, the system. Meanwhile, like I'm trying to tell you guys, Mother Nature, if that's all we had, we it would provide for us. We would still have trees. You could still construct stuff with nature. You could live with nature. Nature also provides free food, free water. You know what I'm saying? We don't need a system. That's basically what I'm getting to in that the system is about to crash, you know? And the reason, the, the main reason why is because everything that's taking place with Russia and Ukraine right now. And um, I I already knew that this is going to happen. And I'm not trying to be like, you know, uh, like I'm a saint. I'm super, you know, this and that, bro. Like, I'm just like y'all, but I just, I'm just woke. I actually have been sent here. But within this human vessel, I'm just like, y'all, I'm just here to spread and like knowledge and, you know, help people wake up. But I watched a Bear Cubs game, man, and I'm going to post this video pretty soon. I watched a Bear Cubs game and a whole bunch of symbols came out on this one TV slide. And, they, and they, it was an all star game. They said, I don't know where this came from. It was in 2013. They, the, the people who like the announcers for the baseball game and I. I decoded a whole bunch of these signs and it said it has something to do with Russia and like a great depression. And then it also had, um, the, the all seeing eye, the pyramids, um, different types of pyramids from when you look at up, like say you're in the sky, you're looking at a pyramid while it's on the ground, right? That's a different perspective from you looking on the pyramid from the side while you're on the ground, you know what I'm saying? So, and then there was different types of pyramids. There was like, um, there was like, um, I don't, I forgot what it's called. It's like a time glass. There was two different ones. And then there's one about the, I'm going to just show you guys the video, what I mean. I'm going to um, decode a few things, but that's how I knew that all this is about to happen in Russia with something to do with it along with China. And the main thing is the sun, um, God, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what anybody says, like my beliefs are my beliefs. And I'm just here to spread awareness, man. Like, we have something to do with this carbon in the sun and everything. But at the same time, there's a higher there's a higher being that governs governs all of this stuff, man. There's different levels to this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So right now, while we're in the physical, we can only do so much. We're limited. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, we could manifest certain things throughout the cosmos. But what about the other things that are happening? We don't have control of that. That's something being governed by a higher consciousness, a higher being. And that's what I'm trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? So peace and blessings to everybody, man. It's time to get back into the, uh, to releasing these videos to y'all. And they're about to get extremely, extremely important. Peace.